We are trying the Froggy Fog Bubble and Fog Maker. This It's still warming up, but you can see how much fog it just started to go out as it was warming up. And it also does have a bubble, um, a bubble maker as well. We put fog uh, liquid in to see what it did. But this is the liquid itself. You can see here, this is Fobble's bubble liquid and fog fluid. Um, the fog fluid goes into the reservoir that you see here. You can put up to 250 milliliters into the container. They do say that you do need to make sure that you are, um, that you're watching your fluid levels because you don't want the fluid to run out because it can damage the overall um, uh, motor itself. And the, oh, it just started again. And we have a little fan pushing it out of the garage as well to kind of push it back because we got some, but now it's, the wind coming in the garage is kind of going. So a lot of times you'd be using this inside. You might use this inside for different type of activities. You can see how it works. The bubble, the bubble section, as I was just saying, the bubble section here um, is in the front, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I, we're not using the bubble section right now, but you can see this is the bubble section right here. The bubble liquid goes down in the front, and it will, it will um, circulate and blow bubbles out. More fog has come out. Um, you can see my daughter here. <laughs> the thing to keep in mind is that as you are, as it's warming up, it will go through a few cycles. Um, and you don't want to touch the inside or any of the inside pieces because it will get warm. Um, it does kind of have a, a stronger smell to it as well. But, um, but, the, but it will go through a few different renditions um, or a few cycles. Don't, don't touch um, a few cycles because what's going to end up happening is that um, that's the cycle to be able to get it uh, going. Once it's gone through its few cycles, then it should, you should start getting um, some more distilled water vapor that will, that will come down. Um, and then as you turn it off, you also do need to make sure it's cooling down because um, it, will, it will be a little warm and you want to make sure that you're running it. Um, so anyway, uh, this is, as I said, the Froggy Fog. And it comes with a couple different types of controllers um, that you can get to. Um, right now I have just the general controller going, um, but I also do have a remote controller so you can be um, away from it. And then there's also this one right here that I don't have plugged in right now, but this is the timer. So you can be away from it. You don't have to stand by it. You can set up and use the timer for different pieces as well. So there's a there's a number of different options for you to be able to do what you want to do. So, but so far this has been a lot of fun. Um, we're just, you know, as I said, this is still just warming up. We've used it a couple times already. Um, it does take a little bit of time to warm up. So if you're going to get one of these, you just have to make sure that you keep in mind that it does take a little bit of time to warm up to use and don't get frustrated if it's not coming out right away you do have to wait until it does warm up for that so a couple more things that i wanted just to make sure that you are aware of with the froggy fog is that there are four different things that you can do with it you have the fog function you have a haze function you have a bubble function, and then you have a, a fog bubble function. So you have a number of different options that you could try and use when you are using your, your, your froggy fog. So depending on what kind of events you're doing or what you're doing in general, um, this, will, this will definitely allow for you to do that. So now I'm going to try the bubble make, maker. I have 
it does make a little bit of a mess. It might be might be interesting if you are able to tilt it up a little bit to get it or put it up a little bit higher. And you can see that some do end up on the ground, so you may have to may have to do a little cleanup afterwards. But if I lift it up, you can see quite a few bubbles do come out. with this bubble maker. So it's kind of a cool function. You kind of look in, into it, you can see how it works. Hey everyone, this is Chris, and um, I've been showing you the, uh, this fo the fog machine, the bubble machine, um, that is, uh, is available um, and on the post I'll give you some links to see where you can find it for yourself um, it, it works very well um, I find that the bubble the bubble maker um, does lose its its bubbles pretty quick um, you're, you're gonna have to keep filling that up especially if you're uh, using the fan with it and blowing it blowing out the bubbles because they go pretty quick quick um, otherwise the the fog the fog um, also gets burned up and you have to just watch it to make sure that that it will uh, that it will um, not burn out your engine but otherwise it's a lot of fun to have you can use it at parties you can use it for just some some fun on the side and, uh, and it was just a, it's a great great machine so if you're looking for a fog machine this is definitely one to check out um, so if you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and I hope that you'll watch some more of my videos. Um, click, just click over here, and you'll see that there is uh, some opportunity for you to be able to check out a couple more videos. And uh, subscribe. We'd love to have you visit more. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.